We're going to be braising some beautiful chard here. We've cut it into a very rough chop, maybe like a two inch square or so chop, just to make sure that the leaves aren't whole, because otherwise they're too hard to fit into your pan. And these are already washed and uh, somewhat dried. Um, we're going to be using our heavy bottom Le Cruzette pan, which we've had over medium heat for a couple minutes. We'll throw in a few tablespoons of olive oil and then we're going to start sauteing our onions in there. And here's just some uh, roughly chopped uh, yellow onions. Okay, we're just going to kind of move those around in the pot a little bit. And uh, we'll probably just try to soften them a little bit over medium heat. Okay, just give them a little bit of a stir. And we'll come back in about a minute or so um, and see if they've softened up. Okay, our onions are looking a little more translucent, a little softer now. And we're going to go ahead and just throw in our collards. We're still over medium heat. And we'll throw them in all at once. As you can see, they barely fit in the pot. But um, what's going to happen as the uh, collards start to get exposed to the heat, they'll start to wilt. So what I'm trying to do here is expose more of them to some of that oil. But as you can see, it's kind of hard just because there's kind of a lot of collards here, but you know, do the best you can. Um, and then sometimes you can also uh, cheat a little bit and throw a little bit more olive oil just over the top and that'll eventually find its way to the heat. Um, and then since these greens are actually pretty dry, um, oftentimes you'll have a lot of water on them um, just from having washed them. Um, you uh, I'm going to throw in a little bit of uh, stock here. You can throw in water um, or chicken stock or vegetable stock. Um, you know, chicken stock will have the most flavor, but if you want to be a purist and just have your vegetables be all vegetable, then you could use some vegetable stock. Um, and we just happen to have some of this, our favorite Trader Joe's uh, chicken stock here, so we're just going to throw that in. And you can hear the sizzle. That means we've got, you know, enough, a little bit of water. Now we'll throw in a little bit more. And then what you want to do is, uh, yeah, you can keep your heat at about medium, but then you want to cover it because you want the greens to sort of steam in your, in that liquid. And, and uh, then we'll come back in about, oh, about five minutes and see how they're doing been cooking, braising for about five minutes now, and you can see there are a beautiful bright green. Um, we're just going to toss them around a little bit, and if you taste them, there'll be still a little bit of crunch, which is nice. There's a little bit of liquid on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And one way to thicken that up is to add some kind of oil or something else to like oil, basically olive oil or butter. So we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. And as the greens sort of cool a little bit, that oil will kind of bond with that, with that uh, water as a bit of a thickening agent. And it'll add a kind of a nice sheen to your collards. So these are basically ready to go. You can see it's a really nice, beautiful, bright green. And we'll go ahead and put these in, in a bowl to do a little bit more of a close-up. Um, but these are basically ready to go. Um, we're going to just finish them off with uh, just some uh, black pepper and uh, a little bit of kosher salt. Uh, here we go. All right. Toss that around a little bit.